That's right. I made a promise. I will not back down. Hey guys, Sasha here, and welcome back to Sepia Tears Min Winter Re Reprise. Yeah, I gotta say, it's actually been a long time. I, right back at you when I was actually uploading the videos, I noticed that actually I made this gameplay, or should I say, whatever, whatever you call it, well, doing this visual novel. And I realized that I forgot I made a promise to myself. I promised myself that I would finish this game. I nearly forgot it. Until I was looking to one of my videos, I noticed you guys like Zane Chan, the comic, and when I drew. Man, I'm surprised at there actually. Anyways, to skip all the blabbering and stuff and talking, smanching, cheesy crap, I had to remember actually that my freaking laptop is being a douche because it restarted and all the files I had there is gone since you saw the video right here just a couple minutes ago you saw it I managed to get back and I was had to do a lot of clicking there okay then enough enough to chit chat let's just get started to the story okay if I remember correctly last time we were at um, oh wait yeah you guys Was that one? Hmm. Hang on, let me second. Myra. I'll trust her. I can't. I shouldn't. But consider how things turn out. Be happy. It's. I still don't know where she's from or how she knows me. Well, I really don't know anything. I don't know anything or how she's less than Maybe meeting her wasn't such a bad coincidence after all. Maybe. Ah yes, I remember now. We're in... Day 3. Cacao. Chocolate. Ha! Cocoa! Oh, is it? Cocoa. Damn it! Okay. Here it goes again with the slasher making mistakes in 2018. Welcome everybody, you see miserable slashers fail bad, fail school. <laughs> oh god. The sky is red. Too red. It's not blood red. Not what you expect from a horror movie. It's deeper, dueler, emptier. The air is thick, like walking through water. stands before me, obscured by this light of light. She stands silently, speaking is not her special. She only watches. She's very, very good at it. Hey, we got a stalker. It kills me. The world is still a future and return to Determined. No. No matter how many times you watch a movie, it ends Stays the same. Kinda like the butterfly effects. Yay! Her mouth moves. She doesn't speak, but I know what she's saying. I begin to fall once again. But I'm glad. Concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> At least this means I can't escape. When excursion cast an ice breathing, I open my eyes. Oh. I rolled to the other side of the bed and to check the time. I still have half an hour before I normally get up to school. Ugh. Huh? Just a daydream. Alright, I remember I had to do the squeaky voice. 
on me, chat. I'm going ahead. I don't want to pass this me, bye. But you mean pass by me, right? No, I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Okay. I get to meet with Lucas and with Lucas to talk about something important. Don't forget your stuff for the project. With that said, she shut the door and scamper off. Project? Crap! Do I have a project to work on today? Denied! Ah, hell no! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, hang on, guys. Uh, I have a body. I'm going to murder him. Fly. It was not easy, I gotta say that. I thought I killed him, but there was another one that was already gay. Okay, where was I? Alright. Oh well, it's just Lucas. He won't care. Refreshed from the chills of the winter air, I stroll into school, feeling oddly carefree. Yeah, there's no, well, no use in worrying after all. And there's Lillian. Hmm. Suddenly, Myra drops down the purity list of things to think about. All right, just stay calm, compose. Hey, Lillian! My words echo awkwardly in the empty hallways. After the good story. Oh, hey, you're early today, Rin. Oh, my bad, I said wrong. You're early today. Rin's still home, I suppose? No, she went on ahead. I think she had to discuss something with Lucas. You didn't see her here either in them in this morning? No, not at all. Lucas is unusually early, too. They're planning something. You're definitely planning something. Well, I suppose it's their business. And I can tell when Rin is doing something I'd rather not know about. I remember I played this game a long time ago. This game is not one, but 
I don't remember what is going to happen next. Now let's continue. Um, what are you reading? Did you know you're actually a clone? No way! That explains a lot! About what, dude? We actually talk the same, look the same, eat the same, and we almost do the same stuff! Yeah! Oh my god, don't quote me! Don't! Wait, what did I say? I said What? Another fly? Photographer. He's anything but a photographer. The thought of him giving out a way to create art that he can't wear entails is absurd. Then again, he's a pretty absurd person. Like the that decade, technology advances and more advancement. I guess I better try to pay attention. History. Economics. Money. <laughs> Spending money. Guess it. Holiday season. Ah, crap. I haven't bought a single Christmas present yet, have I? Million. She's not picky, so anything should be just fine. But I just. Something more than just fine. Ah, this is dumb. Lunchtime 
time of life after a sort of painful induced growth I'm too classy. But something's wrong. I looked to my left, nothing. I looked to the right, nothing. I looked at that, nothing. I looked at the heart, nothing. Oh, wait, I look in front of me. Nothing. I was right. But you did check the back. First, everyone. Could Rand and Lucas possibly be planning something that occupies even their lunch break? Well, peace and quiet isn't bad. The only downside is that it's just me and Lee. All right. Where are the others? Good question. Well, that's odd, isn't it? We're talking about Ren and Lucas. Of course it's odd. So I guess you never figure out what they're planning. Well, I can't say that I figured it out, but I made an interesting observation this morning. Observation? It wasn't much of an observation, it's more like a rather random coincidence. I said it wrong, I know, okay? Don't judge me. You see, I was looking out the window during class. Um. Anyways, I was looking out the window and I saw something interesting. So what happened next? Because, uh, uh no. But I kept looking and there was a strange guy lying on the ground taking pictures. Okay, one thing about me in real life, only I'm gonna give you this, I'm a terrible liar. I'm not lying, really. I should write that, I should write that one down. I can't say that I know you're doing this. Well, I think that guy was Lucas. Why? Because he's wearing Lucas' jacket. Like you to skip school. I'll come along. All right then. To winter's wonderland of back of the school. Wait, we're going outside. We can't. Can't we just look upstairs? Forgot. I forget windows. Let's go see the real thing. What? Wait for me. Just don't mind it. I grabbed Lily in arms without thinking of pulling her towards the staircase leading outside. It only occurs to me the moment neither of us had our jackets. Damn it. Let them embrace the goal. Mark, it's freezing. How far was he? He was right here, but the hill is perfectly blocking on my view. So we had to go a bit further to be sure. Didn't you say you were curious? She feels this. I guess I was right. Ah, just a bit more. Or less last year? Ah, uh, last, last year. Uh, last hill! A few more pieces. Ha! We made it! A period trek through the dark side of the school, which took a lot of two minutes. We arrive in peculiar sight. It's a snowman? It's a snowman. Oh my bad, she said that. You sound surprised. No, not really. I just thought there would be something more. No, no, you expect something more, sort of hiding joke or material motive. Maybe there's one. Maybe. Rats their arms and the humorous, human, humanoid lump of snow. Ah, Alex! Um, weren't you freezing a moment ago? It's so cute! Why, it's so big. Come on, just look at the puppy body and cartoonies. I. What it means to do like cute things. Maybe I would if I if I saw a, a cute pile of snow shape about like a human being. Killjoy. <laughs> I think your hands are cold. Um, okay, I think I'm back now. Ouch! So, you think that guy was Lucas? Pretty sure. I asked him about 
there aren't many people who do strange things for no apparent reasons. And you think he was with a friend, right? I doubt he'd be doing it by himself. And he's not the type of to have a mystery girlfriend. right about now. You're probably right. We should head back to before we get some before someone gets sick. Will that someone be the one who went on snow and man hugging spree? category I belong in. It's a tricky problem to deal with. Something wrong? 
I feel fine. I'm fine, really. Mostly. It doesn't matter. Let's eat. Yeah, all right. I'll meet you later. Sure. That was strange. She says she's fine. Okay. You're early again. Are you sure you're not forgetting anything? Well, we have to grow up sometimes. You know, punctuality is value in the adult world. Or so I heard. You're right. Now, I'm like, now if only I could get Lucas doing the same. That's gonna be uphill battle. He devoted him from the inside out, but only to things he wanted to devote himself to. Okay, I have no idea what you're exactly trying to say, bro. I still think it's worth a try. If I can only get to him to channel that burning passion into something else. Now that's a scary impression. I've seen one. Hey, relax, I'm not starting to sabotage his external hard drive or anything. to force a friendship. It's kind of defeat the purpose of having plans in the first place, doesn't it? I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to think about through all this, Mark. I think more than people in Zoom, they do. It's a good hobby. Just as long as you don't space out. I'm still working on that one. She's smirking no, literally. Oh my god. Ugh. previous videos, I passed the commute, commute in by talking about the difference between the two ham sandwiches and the cafeteria. I'm at the cafeteria, my bad. This is quite a, this is quite a nice neighborhood. You think so? Yeah. As far as our neighborhoods goes, it's not bad. Can't say it. Not about it. What do you mean? You never designed a personal care criteria of the neighborhood. What's wrong with you? How are you supposed to determine your feelings in a particular neighborhood without coming up with some sort of criteria? You're just being stupid, aren't you? Take you long enough. Grab something from the fridge, I'll be upstairs. <laughs> I walk upstairs, open the door, what appears to be her study room. <laughs> oh wow, I never suspected to you like that, actually. The one on the, on the left? And the right. Actually, is she a fan of fairy tale? Um, is that a question? On the side of the desk, besides the unusual pencil and eraser, physical formula sheets, lies a large plush toy of cartoon mascot. I wonder what she do with a thing like this. Thoughts. 
Pulling a chair from her desk, I take a seat and relax. <sighs> the large stuff and toy shop in the mail were... were wait, we were in the other day. I wonder if that shopping bag on the bench was... I see. She really does have a girlish side. I try to keep my mind wandering by spinning around swirl chair and type of <laughs> Fingers are sore from writing, and my brain's sore from thinking. And it's been only an hour. How do you survive this? Like, literally, how did it not kill you? Well, I study. I study about. Wait, I only study for about half an, an half. Yeah, a half an hour. But I do every day, so it's as of every day homework in single day. No wonder I've been slacking all this time. Dare I ask, how you manage to survive such a rigorous routine? It this isn't rigorous at all. It's just because you never work at that. It feels like a significant difference. Your brain's out of shape. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to think this whole responsibility thing isn't for me. <sighs> ten more physically. Uh, oh, ten more physics problems now. The pencil are all the way, all my way, along with the fresh blue sheet of paper. And no calculator for you. No calculator? Is that even possible? Oh, I'm sure it can be done. Not that I ever tried. You're a monster! <laughs> Darkness. Darkness. It fell my mind. My senses are completely weak. My eyes see nothing but black. My ears hear nothing but the painful plush of silence. All I feel is continuous drop within the stillness of the air, repeating, hurting, aching, hurting, over and over like a red blindfold, blinding, pulsing, over and over, growing stronger. Stronger until I can't feel my feet. My hand is all is all red, pulsing, pulsing, red, pulsing, 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 <laughs> How long was I up for? I called it! I called it! I called it! That expression makes me realize I don't even really want an answer. You look like you're about to die. I feel like I'm about to die. There's a novel line. No, 
I'm gonna lie on her lap as she just put it down the seat reading and notice me. You done for a lot today. You know, you done a lot today. I suppose it's alright for you to stop now. It's alright! You don't mean you don't don't you mean that I'll die if I try hard any, any harder? Devotion goes just beyond concern. You have a point. Would you like some drink? Assuming that you have to rush home right away. Sure, I don't mind. Give me monsters, Red Bull, whatever those um, energy bars, energy proteins, proteins. Water in my first period. Thanks, anyways. Hi, Laka. Yes, I'm doing this again. I promise. Not that kind of cup of coffee. It's hot chocolate. But I want I know you hate coffee. Ask Mama if she can make your coffee. She have? Well, no. Wait, get on home a second. No, but she should have. She should have the results by now. And she should have reported completely on the results. And now it makes sense. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that my sister said to slacker when it comes to ex, extra calgary calgary cal, cal, No. Nope. Extra career curricular stuff. She usually gets like this in the end of the terms. No, don't worry about it. I'm not officially memory anyways. Besides, it's not like it's not like they're falling behind yet. Uh, yeah, no. Ignore the noise. Well, I'm 90 percent certain that she's not she's lying around at home. Either clicking on the internet or playing video games, so I can't really defend her like intelligence. Oh, that's my damn, my bad. Now, this is her. It must be interesting name or something like that. You have no idea. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? 
After 16 years, I still had to figure that out. Shocked and wolf through the air. It must be nice to have siblings. It must be nice to be a known child. Do you understand how lucky you are? Yeah. I suppose this has perks. It gets lonely sometimes here. If we're, if we're going out, I will. I will. <coughs> I'll be here in the rain just for the snow window. You know, if you get lonely in this car, you can always try inviting people over. I don't know about Lucas and Ben, but I know I got I got way more time than I need. You don't need to be so distant. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you ever need it. Thanks. Uh, it's a difficult thing to describe. The feelings of being suffocated by silence. It's a classic me me metaphor that pops up in every work of fiction. Moments that are simple, so fragile, that are shattered the moment someone opens their mouth. The shatter the moment. I shatter the moment. Um, I hate to sound like a broken record, but really, is everything alright? You've been acting strange lately. I could say the same thing. Whoa, what, really? I'm not sure how to describe it, but I feel like you've been distant lately. Distance? You know, like, even though you're here right now, your mind's somewhere else. Like you have more importance and more urge things to think than the everyday happiness. Well, a lot has been have has been going on lately. You can't really explain it. I suppose it's the same with me. Yeah, I noticed. Alright. I have to still be silly. I hope you don't mind, but I wait a minute! No, I am not going to jump to conclusions. This can't be a confession. I am not going to jump to conclusions. Every time, every person tell you that, they might say, Oh, I might finally have this girl. She might confess. Never jump to the conclusions. Always be here and calm down. Don't get too excited. You never know what's going to happen next. Come on. I'm listening. She smiles. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to have to say things like this to push more of my problems onto you, but ever since the beginning of the year, something has been bothering me. At first, I ignored it, thinking it was nothing but keeping coming, but it's keep coming back. And every time it returns, it was stronger than last than the last time. Do you know what I mean? You know how that feels. It's been bugging me since then, interfering with my daily life, making me do things I normally. Never do, but nothing's changed. Okay, I never should expect that. I want to, the feelings to stop. To be honest, just want to disappear. But it, that can happen. No matter what I do, nothing's changed. And so, so I decided to tell someone. I thought that maybe if I spoke my mind, things would change for the better. So why don't you? A sh Trails going around her eyes. I'd rather not. Uh, if you're that afraid, there's no need to hold it on in. No, no, it's not like that. She wiped her eyes. I I'm fine, really. My heart hurts, but I still can't. I can't still carry on. The thing is, I'm not sure how much longer I can last. Then tell me. Car door slams in the distance. Whoa! 
sorry about all of this. Uh, I'll be fine. Please don't worry about me. If you forget, uh, then maybe nothing will change. Wrong! If you forget now, it will stay the same unless you stand up. Don't be, don't forget it. If you want to make a change, if you want a little distance, a little spice, then do something. Don't think about it. That's right, folks. Please. Okay, it feels like it feels like she's like either she's been assaulted or threatened by some person. I can do nothing but not in response. The flash, uh, flashing alerts with my heart turn into a dull, painful thud. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the winter sky darkened too quickly. It isn't light yet, but as I walk to the final two blocks home, how? Yeah, home. The pitch black sky is icy winds damp my mood. I know what price I'll pay if I get too close. I shouldn't, but and that bookmark, that small, irrelevant bookmark, is still nagging me back on my mind. I'm not. I'm not innocent or naive. I know what I'm getting myself into. But I, if I do it willingly, at least I can't play the victim. I have no idea how to react on that. Wait, is that it? That's it? Day 4, Footprints. That's it! Really? Okay. Should I continue? Should I? You know what? No, I'm gonna stop this. Yeah. All right, guys. This has been fun, but I'm gonna have to end this right now. I don't know when I'll do. I'll be doing this at the gameplay or in schedule. I do like have speed paints and animations to do. So I'm gonna try to. Maybe I'll make a schedule. Maybe. I don't know. I'll try my best. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy, enjoy being with me with this visual novel. And apparently we learned a little bit of things, and I'm jumping a little bit conclusions, saying nonsense and bullcrap and need to pretend like this in English and then go back to class. And <laughs> Anyways, this has been fun, actually. I miss doing this thing. Reading these visual novels, the stories. Maybe I should read some books after this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll be seeing you guys on the other side of the forest. Be safe, guys. See ya. Ah.